Drown caretaker, a black cat next to face with flowers watch while two men not digging a grave, the two men was working up a sweat in the September hit, as they finished the grave Tom McCormick wonder who will lay in this grave, Jack London replied it's been BC this year. Then they walk away from the grave, the men work in the place called Live Oak Cemetery in a town of Leesburg, this cemetery land was once a farm but the farmer Hank Thomas could not keep up with his land because of his old age and health, so Hank Thomas sold his land to the funeral home back in the early 18 but bar, Hank Thomas home still on the cemetery ground this is where Tom lived, Tom a grave digger and a ground caretaker working for many years, after all the funerals is over each day Tom would walk around checking on the graves, showing compassion towards the families also to whom has passed. In evening before sunset Tom would take a children book and read to the children that has passed away. During the day if he is not digging graves would clean around other graves and talk to whom is buried showing respect for them. At night Tom would read his newspaper and try to learn more about the people in his cemetery and how they passed away. When he slipped the spirits of the cemetery come to thank him for all the caring. But this one night while a slip a voice called out his name, a woman voice crying out for help is this his dream or is it real? Tom woke up from a sound slip still hearing the crying for help, searching the house could not find anyone then walking outside to the field of graves. Outside it was very dark and silent with a light wind blowing through the oak trees, yet Tom could hear the cry for help and the ground was wet from the dew. Following the sounds for help took him to a new grave that covered earlier that day, getting on his knees and touched the grave a vision of that woman came to him, for Tom could see she was very young and did not want to be there in her grave, she did not like the silent darkness for it frightened always had a night light, when she was alive and Tom understand she needed a light by her grave. Tom went back to the house and got a candle and light it then place it at where the headstone will be. Tom said a prayer for her and could feel that she was thankful, for Tom said good night all as he went back to bed. The sunrise on another day in the Live Oak Cemetery, Kent Price, October 10, 1800.